Hello everyone, so today I am here to do a currently reading video where I talk about obviously what I'm currently reading, but also what I'm currently watching, listening to, and enjoying. Um, yeah, so I did one of these two weeks ago and I have read next to nothing since then. So this is not going to be a very big reading update, but um, I just have not been reading. I've been in like a reading slump as booktube would call it, more of the fact that I just have a lot of life going on. Um, so reading has taken a back seat and I just haven't been wanting to do it. Um, yeah, if you guys missed my announcement, I am moving across the country next month. So we've been doing a lot to prepare for that, but also just seeing a lot of people. It was also my graduation um, last weekend. So I was hanging out with a lot of friends and family and stuff. So obviously that just takes priority over reading. So yeah, I haven't read very much, but had a handful of books to talk about. Let's just discuss the book that I've actually made progress in first. The only significant amount of reading I've done is In Devils by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I've read 200 pages of this um, and yeah I'm on part two of this book at the moment. This book took me quite a while to get into. I think it's been like on my currently reading on Goodreads for like two weeks, maybe like like 15 days at this point and yeah I just I honestly I wasn't actively reading it for most of that time I only really started reading it a couple of days ago so I guess 200 pages is fine um but yeah those 200 pages were a mess I have I had to read a couple of synopsis and summaries for this first part just to make sure that I understood what the heck I just read because it was a lot but I feel a little bit better because summary all of the summaries did kind of agree that part one is like purposefully confusing like Dostoevsky is kind of uh setting the ground or foreshadowing for part two which is just really really chaotic um so yeah I'm hoping it gets better but yeah this first part was so so much. Um, like it was kind of the stereotypical Russian novel in the sense of it introduced like 900 characters and they all have vaguely similar names and they're all related in some way or another. Um, and it also took place over I think it was 30 years past in this first part. Um, but now I think we're like kind of in the present of this novel and I'm excited to finally figure out what happens, especially because the synopsis on the back sounds so interesting, but someone did tell me that the synopsis doesn't start until halfway through the book. So that's what I'm kind of waiting on. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I love his writing so much. And again, I do have tons of like little dog ears and stuff on the bottom and top. Um, so like a lot of good was happening, lots of amazing writing, just very very confusing with how many characters we were having and I don't really know what the plot was supposed to be for part one. I don't think there really was a plot for part one but yeah this was really the only significant reading I've done in the past two weeks was this 200 pages. And then I just kind of popped in and out of books um, so I'm just gonna vaguely talk about those. All of them are Japanese literature um, so you guys will hopefully be getting a bunch of Japanese literature uh, reviews soon because yeah I just started like popping in and out of Japanese lit. I don't know why. <laughs> so the first book is There's No Such Thing As An Easy Job by Kikuko Masumura um, and this is kind of like the big book from Japan recently. Obviously English speaking people are a little bit behind the trends of Japan so I'm sure this was probably big a couple of months to a year ago but yeah this was like the big book that's recently come from Japan so obviously I want to pick it up and check it out um yeah I'm like 12 pages into this I think I picked it up like three times obviously I'm just not in a reading mood even though I'm so excited about this book um it sounds like it's such an interesting like premise and idea. I feel like it's gonna give me like convenience store woman vibes but also make a lot of commentary on maybe millennials in the job market. That's what I'm kind of expecting out of it. Um, from the 12 pages I read it was very well written and very good so far but you know 12 pages. <laughs> and I don't even have a bookmark in this one because I started it at the bookstore and I don't know how many pages I've read of it. Maybe three or four, um, but that is 6-4 by Hideo Yokoyama, and this is a the winner of the Best Japanese Crime Fiction of the Year award. Um, I feel like this has been just vaguely on my radar for years, um, ever since I started reading the other Japanese crime thriller person, um, oh my god, I can't remember what their name is, but they wrote The Devotion of Suspect X. Um, I cannot remember their name! 
But um, yeah, I've just like vaguely been interested in this book too since then because I feel like um, I've always seen it on like the Japanese thriller recommendations list. And yeah, it sounds like it's going to be really interesting. I think a lot of people who don't like this book um, had problems with it because I did read some reviews. Some people had problems with it because it's less thriller, crime, mystery, drama, action, and a lot more of a commentary on the Japanese police force and Japanese crime, um, which I think is way more interesting. So I'm hoping I love this. I love the format of this book. It is the floppiest paperback I've ever <laughs> experienced. And yeah, I just picked this up and yeah just popped in and out of it and i have also popped in and out of um tokyo Ueno station by you miri this is a really short one so i'm kind of hoping to just sit down and binge this in the next couple of days um and yeah this was for my patreon book club and yeah it basically follows a guy who is dead already and he like it, we kind of follow just like what he sees while he's a ghost and also like kind of flashing back on his life and stuff that's why I get out of this. It sounds really cool. I'm sorry I don't remember the exact synopsis of it. But yeah, um, I'm really excited for this one. I'm excited for all of these books. But um, if I had to say with how this month of reading has gone so far, my only goals for the rest of this month are to finish Devils and Tokyo UNI Station because those are for my book clubs. Um, other than that, I am not going to be pushing myself to finish these two 400 and 500 page books. So maybe next month. But yeah, that is all that I'm currently reading. Um, now I'm getting on into what I'm currently watching and stuff. I did binge a K-drama like last week. I didn't even mean to. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this, but YouTube, my like all of my people I follow on YouTube are not posting. Like YouTube is in a drought at the moment. And I think it's probably because the algorithm has been particularly horrible. No one's getting the views that they usually get and also YouTube started this new feature where it basically tells you how shit your video is doing and I'm just like wow great great idea good idea YouTube that's a really good idea um so yeah I feel like no one has been posting <laughs> recently so I literally accidentally binged this k-drama literally because just nothing else there was nothing else for me to watch so um I did binge extracurricular which is a k-drama on Netflix it's only 10 episodes and each episode is only like 45 minutes um I really enjoyed the beginning of this k-drama the first like five or six episodes I really really liked um because it basically follows this boy who has like this side hustle um security guard business for women who are in like the sex industry and he some st shit starts happening and I lost a lot of interest when like the gangs started getting involved. I don't know why. I just think gangs and mob and like unnecessarily violence is just so boring to me. I'm just like, like be more creative. So yeah, that one was fine. I think I gave like three stars in the end. I liked the characters and I liked the beginning, but the gang stuff just got boring to me. And then I also did start the ongoing K-drama um, Doom at Your Service and this stars Park Bo Young and I Iksukuk? So Iksukuk? I don't remember his name. I'm so sorry. I've never watched anything with him. I know he's popular. Um, but yeah, this one I was so excited because I love Park Bo Young but also does have one of my K-pop biases in it. Um, Sankyuk from SF9 or Dawan. Um, he plays Park Bo Young's little brother and I'm really really enjoying it so far. We're like four episodes in at the moment and yeah I'm really really liking it. I would very much compare this to Goblin. I think it's a very similar dynamic um, and yeah I think it's really well written. I think it's really well done and the actors are great so far. I am kind of wondering what the conflict I guess is going to be in this uh, K-drama because we are four episodes in and like we have a plot like a goal for this k-drama but like we don't have much action happening I guess so I am really interested to see where it goes next because yeah I have no clue no no idea where it's gonna go um but yeah those are what I've oh me and my boyfriend also finished Dexter season three last night um so we're obviously going to start season four soon and yeah, Dexter's good. We've been watching it for the last couple of months. It's a very good show to just like throw on when you need something. So yeah, that's everything that I've currently been watching. And now as for listening to, for the most part, I've actually been focusing on trying to listen through Monster X's discography. Um, and I am currently up to, I think I just finished the Follow album or like the English album. 
And yeah, no, I finished Follow. That's the most recent one I've definitely done. I think I listened to the English one like out of order because I definitely listened to it after the Follow album, but whatever. Um, and yeah, I love Monster X a lot. They're great. I only very recently got into them. I know I'm super late to the party. I literally knew about them like since debut and I just never was interested until my friend was really into it, like into them. And yeah, now I love them and they're great and I really enjoy their music. Their English album is like one of my favorite albums ever. It's so good. I really, really liked it. If you guys like like kind of K-pop English music, maybe check it out. I feel like all K-pop English music kind of has a similar feel. And I've been listening to a lot of it recently. I've been listening to Mons X's English music and then also Down by uh, Ace. Maybe gonna check out Ace eventually. But um, yeah, I also bought two albums, so I wanna show you. <laughs> yeah, I do luckily live in a place where we do have K-pop albums in a couple of different stores and I just on a whim picked up these two. So this is um, the Take one, are you there? And take two, we are here. This is Shootout and Alligator. I picked up both of these and I got amazing photo card pulls. So I just, I have to show you guys them, okay? So yeah, if you guys didn't know, my bias is Kihyun. And yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So yeah, first off, we have Shonu. Very cute. And then I also got a, like, Full group card. I don't know if that comes in all of them. And then I got Juhan. And then I got Juhan and Kihyun unit card. And then I got Kihyun. And then I got Kihyun. <laughs> so yes, I pulled like three Kihyuns in two albums. So I'm pretty happy about that. Like, wow. I don't know if anyone else is like this. I think I mentioned this a couple of times. I don't think anyone has actually been like, me too. But there was a time back in the early days of K-pop, back, you know, 2015, that like it was a thing that like you'd buy your first album and whoever came as your photo card, that was your bias. Like that's how you chose your bias because it's like, oh, they picked you rather than you picked them. It was like, it was just a fun thing that people would do, I feel like. Um, and that's how I did stuff for a little while. Not really, like it wasn't real, like a real thing. Like it wasn't strictly like that, but like, it's always kind of a fun thing. So I'm just like, wow, Kihan picked me and I picked him. So this, this was fun. This was a fun album pull. So yeah, I really enjoyed getting these. And yeah, I've been really loving listening through all of their discography. It's been really, really great. Some of my favorite songs are from the English album. I really love You Got My Number, She's the One, L Love You, I think is what it's called, Middle of the Night, um, obviously all of those. I will just warn you that their English album is very, very sexual. Um, and it's in English, so you can understand it. And so it's a lot, but I also really, really dig the music. Like it's really great music. Um, and I also have been loving just, oh, one of my favorite songs is Oh My, that's from the Shootout album. And like, I really like Rodeo on at the Alligator album. And I just have been really liking a lot of their music. It's a lot different from what I normally listen to, I feel like, but I also really, really like it, so. And then besides Monst X, another group that I got into was not a K-pop group. It was actually a like American group. Um, and that is AJR. And my friends recommended me them because we heard one of their songs in a store and they were like, Kate, you'd really like this band. And so I checked it out and I do really like this band. It, they're kind of like indie pop meets sampling. Like they sample a lot of memes and then trumpet. I don't know why, but the trumpet is like my favorite part of the songs. It makes it sound so much more unique and so much more interesting. And yeah, I really, really have been enjoying this band. If you guys want like a new, I don't know, like if you don't listen to K-pop and you want a new group, AJR. Um, I really like their song Three O'Clock, Bang, I'm Ready, and uh, Way Less Sad. Those are my top four at the moment. But I have also been listening to a couple of other songs by them. But yeah, they're so good. Highly, highly recommend. They're definitely my vibe. So if we have similar music tastes, you'll probably like them. But yes, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this currently reading video. And definitely tell me down in the comments below what you guys are currently reading, watching, loving, listening to, all of that kind of stuff. And anyways, I love you all and I'll see you all soon. Bye! Oh, I gotta get a shot. Just walking in.
here to do it. Ugh, I just felt sweat drip down my leg. Yeah. Ah. <laughs>